Hi, this is Vicente Mauri with the International Academy of Orthopedic Medicine. And what I, uh, I want to show you today is one of the exercises that we recommend to start um, activating your gluteus medius. Uh, for those patients who cannot get in a vertical position uh, because they have pain, because they don't have the range of motion, or because they just had surgery, uh, we recommend to have them in the laying down position on the side, just like Davey is right now. The side that you're going to be working on is going to be the uh, ceiling side. And the, the main principle of this one is avoid any external movement. Uh, you, your patients have been already uh, taught how to activate their deep muscles in the lumbar area, on their abdominal lumbar area. So you're going to be asking your patient to remember to activate those muscles prior to what you're going to be asking to do. You, we, we, we set our patient in this position. The opposite leg is going to be flexed, uh, just a matter of getting more stable position for him. And the leg that is going to be uh, worked is going to be straight on the table, knee extended. And we're going to do a little modification from the initial exercise that was, um, uh, uh, was, it was used in research. So my command is, uh, David, I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to place my hand here on the foot just to give you a, a cue so you can, you, you know where to go with your contraction. And the very first thing that I want you to do is I want you to lengthen your lower extremity uh, towards my hand. Like you want to, like you want to push my hand down there. Nice. And relax. And if you notice, he did it with a little tiny pelvic drop moment at the waist or uh, the pelvis. So I don't care if he does it in the first you know, few repetitions because the idea is to, uh, to teach him how to do it and more specifically. But consider this, that if he gets motion in this position, probably other muscles are going to be involved, like your TFL or your QL. So we're going to try to minimize those contractions by being more specific. So now, David, that was perfect. But now the, the, the idea is to try to lengthen your lower extremity, your leg, without letting me know that you're doing it. So it has to be a very minimal contraction. And what I'm doing with my left hand here is I'm sensing if he's really trying to push that uh, lower down. Now, uh, what I do with my right hand, I'm going to place it in areas like where the gluteus maximus is, the gluteus medium, medium, and the TFL are. You can also place it in close proximity to the QL, for example, just in case if it's not being overactivated. But I usually do TFL and gluteus maximus and trying to get my, my index finger on the area of the gluteus medius. And what I'm going to say is, okay, let's do it again. You did it perfectly because there was no motion but I can feel the pressure on my hand and I'll do the same thing. Can you do it again? Very nice. I felt it this time more than the TFL. So I give some cue to my patient and say, well, that was too much here. Can you do less here on this side? Let's repeat it. Very nicely. I felt it more in the back in this time. So I, I help him to tune in or out or up and down those contractions. So, okay, can you do it more? I want to feel more on the, the index finger here. That's better, relax. And again, and relax, and again, and relax. So with few repetitions, usually patients tend to get a better grasp of the exercise. Minimal movement, if not all of, all of them, uh, but you need to feel some of the pressure at the end of the foot. Uh, once they learn how to do it and you give feedback on how they're doing it, remember to activate the abdominal muscle, deep abdominal muscle, and repeat. Can you do that now? Can you activate your V-pack? Nice. And now let's repeat. And usually what happens is that the contraction gets a lot better. Once they learn, they can do it by themselves and they can repeat at home. Uh, like any skills, we tend to say, well, don't do this 20 times at once. I'd rather have you do it three, six times every hour or, every, or a few times a day. So it becomes more like a motor pattern more than just a strengthening of a muscle.